How's it going everybody? I'm Drifty. We're gonna do another first impressions video. This is by Fun for the Brain on Patreon. Thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. I really appreciate you backing me. So this is gonna be a first impressions video on a learning game called Hidden Creek Farm. Let's take a look at it real quick. I don't have the download to it. Uh, I requested the download to it, didn't get it, but I'm gonna do the best I can to make a video on it anyway. So um, here's the version. You can see the URL. I imagine it's free for anyone to play it, you know, otherwise it wouldn't be listed as such. But let's take a look at the options. Always dash on, command member on, lightning effects. Good that we have lighting effects. I'm adjusting the volume here in the browser. And uh, let's go ahead and jump into a game. I can see that we're running at 60 frames per second uh, by just the rate that it's blinking. Dad says, hey Rory, I'm going into town for the day. I need you to help around the farm. Do you want me to show you how to do things around the farm? Well, absolutely, Dad, because I have no idea how to play this game yet. Okay, you need to learn how to move around the maps. You can walk around by using the mouse to click where you want to go. Hold down the mouse buttons to have the character follow it. Walk around a bit and then come and see me. Cool. Alright, let's check out our menu. Hit escape. Using a default font. Let's jump through here. No items. We're probably using Gamius, or maybe not Gamius. It might be Galv's quest, uh, quest log. There are a few now options. Uh, this is... I have no idea. Achievements? Is this an achievement system? This is super cool. I want to add this to my game. Awards wall. Yeah, this is like an achievement system. This is really cool. I like how you get those little pop-ups too that come right here. Z to zoom and X to cancel. But we don't have we can't zoom in because we don't have any awards yet. Close menu. Oh, in case you Okay. To simplify it, right? Just to make it more foolproof. You can't get stuck anywhere. I get it. You found some rope. You will receive awards and quests while exploring around the farm. The buttons in the upper corner will show you your quest and achievements. You can also find both your quest journal and awards wall from your main menu by hitting escape. Well, we just did that. I think that covers the most of what you need to know. Did you understand everything I taught you? Yeah, that seems pretty straightforward, actually. Okay, last thing. Before you go, see all the switches around the garden? They control the math questions you get while doing your tasks. Turn on the switches of the facts you would like to practice, then press done. Press the done switch. You will be all set to go. Um, so this is our seven, this is our eight, this is our nine. Six, five, four, three, two, one, and zero. Okay. And they all just toggle. That guy doesn't seem to do anything. I know we're supposed to hit that button. I'm just exploring a little bit. Can we actually pick anything up? Not really. Probably using uh, Yanfly's uh, region restrictions to let uh, stop us from going over some areas but letting us go over other areas uh, if not that then the tile set has been edited I also appear it also appears to have some sort of overlay it's it's an obvious overlay um, because you can see how it's been faded out right there let's take a look at that you have to choose at least one fact family to practice before you can press the button um, let's let's pick zero you will be practicing your zero facts. Head to the farm, your mom is calling. Okay, I like the arrow pop-ups. That's good. Rory! Rory! Oh, there you are. I need your help. Your sisters have gone running off somewhere and I need them back in a hurry. I think they're playing hide and seek somewhere over by the bunny farm. Would you find them for me? Sure, let's go find them. Sure, mom, no problem. I'll get back. I'll get them back here for you. Oh, we can collect dandelions. Let's get these dandelions. Give me all the loot. This log had a frog inside. You have just observed your first wildlife on the farm. Find seven more to receive your eyes of nature. Eyes on nature reward. Okay, so now we have an incentive to collect. Because we're going to get achievements. And everybody knows I need achievements. All right, I have eight dandelion greens. Now I can go help Fiora feed the bunnies. Cool, so that's probably another little quest that's going on. Anything in here? Another frog? Nope. Chicken? Nope. 
Nothing from the chicken. Okay. Whoa, this looks kind of like uh, Stardew Valley a little bit. Zero plus zero is zero. That's right, you have collected one egg. Oh, we have to do math to uh, figure it out. So zero plus six equals six. That's right. Cool, so let's get all the eggs. Zero plus four is four. That's right. Zero plus six is six. Watch me mess one of these up. <laughs> zero plus two. <coughs> oh God. Zero plus two is two. Zero plus eight is eight. This is a really cool little learning game. You're incentivizing learning how to do it by um, giving achievements in the game. Zero plus two is two. Because just reading it out of a textbook, like, it's kind of hard. Like, the, the real incentive is learning it, right? But when you're young and you're trying to go through these problems, you're like, why? Why do I even want to? Why should I care? But now you're just playing a game and you're subconsciously learning math while you're playing a game. So you're like, well, I don't really care to, to know that at, the, at a young age. Look, a busy raccoon. You have observed another wild animal in, your, in their habitat. Just one more to earn your rookie's eyes on nature award. You know, at a young age, you're just doing it to get through it. But when you're incentivized, you're like, well, I'm just playing a game. But I'm also learning, but they're probably not even thinking about that. You have just found your first exploration location. Find three more to receive your Master Explorer Award. What a strange fire. It's so blue. Oh, I remember these from school. This is a flame of learning. I wonder what it wants me to teach me. Learn? Yeah, let's learn. That's the whole point of this. Rory leans in closer to the fire and feels the warmth on his face. Then looks deep into the flame. Rory has learned the skill of jumping. What? You have just learned a new skill. If you click the J, Rory can now jump. If the landing space is blocked, he will not jump as far. J? Hoppity 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 hop. This is probably Yanfly's uh, smart jump, but it doesn't have to be. You can do this without a plugin. Wait, I, we have mouse control. I'm just curious if we click on that. Oh, it does work. So we can open up our quest log with this little... Uh, Yenfly, you can do that with Yenfly's uh, Picture Common Events plugin if you want to do something like that in your game. Let's collect more. So we got another frog. You found a singing frog. You have seen another wild animal in their habitat and earned your Rookie Eyes on Nature award. Keep looking for more animals to get your next award. Oh, cool. Eyes on Nature award. We got the Rookie one. Cool. Oop. There we go. Can we collect any honey? Is this the bee? Beekeeper's thing? I like honey. Oh, what is that? What am I? Oh, it's like a mini game. Can we get that little birdie? Zero plus one is one. That's right. You have collected a small pot of honey. Okay, so it's the same learning exercise. And since we selected zero, all of these are adding numbers to zero. So this is very very easy to to do I mean pretty much anybody could do this but it's it's definitely targeting very young kids so that they can learn early good way to go about it it beats trying to show them a math book right because who's gonna want to do that I mean we do that because we need to know but found a happy frog you've observed another wild animal in their habitat just one more to earn your pro eyes on nature award well, we gotta get all the achievements. Wow, that's a very active squirrel. You have earned your Pro Eyes on Nature Award. Keep looking for more animals to get your next badge. Yeah, baby. Expert. Cool. Let's carry on. You have just found your second exploration location. Find two more to receive your Master Explorer Award. Well, this is creepy. Something in that hole in the wall seems to be shiny. I wonder what it is. Auto run event. Should I put my hand in there and grab it? Well, probably not, right? But just for the sake of the game, we should check it out. Let's do this. You are one brave little learner. Rory reads a small note attached to the stone. This stone gives the holder the power of flight. Simply press C to witness the feather light power. Let's press C. Whoa. Whoa. We can like fly through walls now. 
That's cool. Wait, what's that? It's like a little lighting thing. Well, this is kind of complex. Oh no! Failed to load. Image characters Rory walk fly. So we crashed there. Um, I guess that's why you wanted me to test it, right? <laughs> I guess it all makes sense. Yeah, so you're just missing a PNG. So if uh, if I had this, if you would have let me download it, uh, I could just copy paste uh, a PNG file in, in that characters and then rename it that and then it'll let me continue on. So now I can't do that, that thing right there. So that's a shame. We're, we're stuck right there when we crash. So unfortunately we have to do a reload um, and kind of start it over and that's a shame. But uh, you found that little error, right? So if not, go back and look at the file that it's missing. Boom. If you could fix that problem, it's something you definitely want to get uh, fixed. It's an easy thing. Well, we know how to do things around the form. We're going to skip the tutorial. Okay, we have to pick the numbers. This time, what we're going to do is pick uh, 9. Yeah. And then we'll say done. Let's see what else, what other cool things. We, we're going to catch up to where we were. We're going to skip that flying thing, though. Um, we're going to go try to help Mom find uh, everybody else. Let's do this one instead. I want to see the rest of the game, that's why. We've got black sheep, we got white sheep, and we got a little pile of hay, a bundle of hay here. And I, I'm, I want to check that little uh, water bowl, water pot, but they keep blocking it. I have a feeling there's something in there. It won't let me go. Okay, hold on. Alright, move sheep. Move it, sheep. Keep on a moving. Keep there. Oh, uh, uh. Oh, there's no frog in there. I thought there would be something. Oh, well. Let's check this little mini area. Oh, we think we found her. Fiora. Hey, Rory. Aren't bunnies great? They're so cute and soft. Hey, sis. They're pretty cute, but hey, Mom wants you all to come back home now. It's almost time to go to Granny's. I can't go to Granny's yet. The bunnies need to be fed first. Okay, Mom wants you to hurry. So what do you need to feed the bunnies? Oh, that's easy. They love to eat dandelion greens. So if you go to the garden and weed the dandelions, the yellow flowers, the bunnies will be happy to eat them. Okay, I'll be right back. So in order to get her to come back, what are these? Really old looking papers. They say, where ivy grows to cover all. Happy travels will come through fall. I wonder what that means. So if we go to go harvest all those greens, which we already did in the other one, um... I wonder if this was intentional right here. Um, maybe this was intentional. If not, Yanfly's region restrictions event or editing the tile set. Well, you probably don't want to do the tile set edit method because that little grass, you, you want to be able to walk over it. But because you drew a tile that you can walk over on top of a tile that you can't walk over, it's letting you uh, walk on the wall. So very simple is to just use Yanfly's region restrictions plugin. And then in the parameters, set uh, a color, go to the regions and paint where you want to block it off at. And then uh, you just, uh, it'll, it won't let you walk on it, even though you can walk on it everywhere else. So you just kind of paint a region right there. I've covered it a few times in my tutorials, so I'm sure you could find, figure out how to do it. It's not super hard. Um, <clears throat> let's get all the yellow flowers. We gotta get them all, and then we can go feed the bunnies. All right, I have all eight dandelions. Let's go. Let's get our little sis and feed the bunnies. Come here, Yanfly. Come. Oh wait. Oh wait, wait. Oh, was it nine plus nine is eighteen? That's right. Let's get all these bunnies fed. Nine plus two is eleven. That's right. 9 plus 5 is 14. All right. Come here, bunnies. Oh, they're, they're quick little buggers. 9 plus 7 is 16. That's right. 9 plus 6 is 15. Let's get... Come here, bunny. Oh, look at those ears. 9 plus 5 is 14. 9 plus 3 is 12. And the last one, 9 plus 0 is Yanfly. 9, that's right. Phew, I think I caught them all. 
They're very fast little bunnies. Tell me, let me go tell Fiora I finished. And the bunnies love me. Wait, what are these again? Okay, we can't get it yet. Yay, you got them all! Now just catch up to the bunnies and feed them! Huh. What? We already fed them. Oh, okay. You just have it where you kind of have to talk to her first. You could do a switch condition. I'm sure you could figure that one out. Yeah, you have, you have taken very good care of my bunnies. I'm ready to go to Granny's house now. Cool, so now we'll take her back to Mom, and then the family will go to Granny's. Great, but where is Bianca? Oh, we have to get Bianca. She's probably sleeping somewhere. You know she loves her naps. That's true. Let's try the sheep field. She says it's where she takes her best naps. So that's why when we went there before, there was nothing going on because we're supposed to come back afterwards. <laughs> wow, she can really sleep anywhere. Bianca! Hey, Bianca! It's time to wake up! Oh, hey! Time to get up, Bianca. Mom has been calling you. Well, the sheep are so soft. They kept me warm and comfortable. I get my best sleep here, but how will I sleep at Granny's? I know. We can make a pillow with the soft wool from the sheep. Sounds fun! How do we do that? Just shear each of the sheep here, and I will make a nice soft pillow to take on our trip. Alrighty. 9 plus 4 is 13. I know I'm going to get one of these wrong, watch. <laughs> and 9 plus 6 is 15. 9 plus 6 is 15. And that's 14. And one more. Oh, come on, sheep. Why are you trolling me, sheep? Why are you trolling me? Oh, there we go. 9 plus 0 is 9. That's all 8 of them. We should give this wool to Bianca. Let's do that. Yay. Now I'll be able to sleep when we get to Granny's. Maybe I should I'll test it just to be sure if it's okay. No, up we go. Gotta get you back to Mom. Let's go and take the kids home. Oh, good. Here, there. They're all back. Now, girls, get into the house. Grandma will be coming to get you soon. You've completed the Get Your Sisters quest. All right. And I think we did uh, the other ones, too, except we didn't collect all of the achievements. Uh, right? I think that was pretty much it. We've already done that. I mean, we've had to repeat a couple of these. Because we've seen the, the honeybee one. Oh, th this is where we get our jump. Right, we, we got our jump. We can't do the other one because it'll crash the game. The flying one. But we can press J to jump. Jump, 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 jump. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Did you see what just happened? Hold up. If you jump right here, you can jump over that. You can. Man, this guy's got some hops. You can just jump over the house. I don't know if that was intentional. I'm sure there's a way you can make this uh, area a, a region with uh, Yanfly smart jumps so that you can't jump over this little house or, or the whole house. <laughs> Just like, woo! Or maybe that's what you want. I don't know. Look, a busy raccoon. You have seen another wild animal. Okay, we've got, uh, I think, three of the awards in total before. We'll just jump over that. I do like the jump though, so because there's little areas where you can get stuck and it lets you jump over stuff. That's always good. The girls are about to head to Granny's house. We should do something fun tonight. That sounds great. Want to play video games with me? You know I do. We can pull an all-nighter. I'll even ask your. I'll even make your favorite pie. My three fruit pie. Woohoo! Games and pie. Okay. I will need a few things to get going on the pie. Will you grab them for me? Yeah. I love pie. I like pie. Okay, I already have the blueberries, but I need five apples, eight eggs, four small pots of honey, and eight strawberries. Is that a... It's, it is a lot of stuff. I'm on it. Okay, let's do this. Let's get all these strawberries. Basically, this is like the completion event. Where we have to finally get all of the stuff. All the things. We need to get all the things. That, yep. Oh, a turtle. 
Absorbed another wild animal in the habitat. Just a little more to earn your pro. We already actually got that one before. Okay, we can't go in here yet. I like the artwork on this house. The tile set's really nice. It would be cool if I could full screen it, but um, at least it's not really lagging. I thought it was going to lag, but it actually doesn't. Okay, we, we got everything here. I think. Wait, sh blueberries. Are these blueberries? No, no, no. No, they're not blueberries. No mushrooms in our three fruit pie, right? That would be kind of ugh. Hey, I want to check this one thing. Ah, oh, that's fine. Oh, we got to get the wool. Did we already get? No, we got the wool. We already did that. Okay. The honey. Okay. I keep remember. I keep forgetting that we have to do it again because nine plus six is fifteen. Nine plus four is thirteen. 9 plus 8 is 17. 9 plus 3 is 12. So we got the honey. We're going to need that for our pie, I bet. Alrighty. Then we'll just exit. Okay, what else do we need? We got the strawberry. Oh, apples. Collected an apple. I think we got the three apples we needed. Right? Uh oh, you don't have enough apples. No, we need more apples. Oh, there we go. How come I didn't see that? More apples. There's a little secret area, but we'll crash at that point, so we'll skip that for now. Good job! You got all the apples! Uh-oh, you don't have enough eggs! We gotta do the chicken thingy again. Because we crashed. That's 15. This is a cool little game for, you know, a really young kid who's just learning math. And it's so much more fun than trying to just do a, a piece of paper, like write on a piece of paper, you know, or read out of a book. And you're basically getting the same thing done. You're, you're, basically, you're basically doing the same thing. You know, you're doing, you're solving math problems, but you're making learning fun. And I really kind of think that's awesome. Now, obviously this isn't, you know, a game that I'm going to, you know, want to play over and over or, but I'm showcasing it because I think there's some merit to this sort of thing, you know. This could still be an interesting game, but that you would have to tailor it for the level of difficulty. But what's cool is with something like this, you can tailor these adventures for whatever level, you know, you could do one for multiplication, one for division, you can make a different adventure for when you have to do learn fractions, you know, there's there's a whole lot you can do with uh, what you're going on about uh, fun for the brain. I'm not sure what to call you. That's sort of what fun for the brain. Good job, you got all the apples. Good job, you got all the eggs I needed. Way to go! I'm glad the bees did not sting you. That is all the honey I need. Wow, that was really fast. I'm gonna go get started on your pie. Fred said he needed to see you. He's over by the chicken coop. Well, let's go talk to Fred. He just magically appeared. You know, I've been working here for many, many years, and Ethel has been here through them all. Ethel is my favorite chicken, don't tell the others. Anywho, she's gotten a little confused as of late, and seems to have misplaced her chicks. Could you look around the farm for her little chicks, and bring them back to me? I would really appreciate it. Of course, of course. No problem, I'll find Ethel's little chicks. How many of them are missing? We're missing six chicks. Thanks so much for doing this. My legs can't handle wandering around the farm quite as well as they used to. Um, 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 um. Oh! Oh no. Couldn't find them all yet. Be sure to look around the farm. Also, with some of the other animals, they like to make friends. Okay. It's a pretty bluebird. Oh, cool. We got another reward. Can we? Oh, we can. There's no saving it because it's just a standalone adventure. It doesn't really need to be saving. It's, it's designed to play within like 15, 20 minutes, you know. About the same amount of time as it would take for a kid to do uh, their math uh, homework or something, you know. That's right. Oh, they actually join your party? Well, sort of, but they, they don't appear there. Okay, let's get that chicky. Oh, oh, shoot. Forgot we gotta do math. That's the whole point of the game. Alright, so let's... We got two. We need four more to go. I see one up here. They are pretty stealthy. Kind of hard to find. Winky chick. That's 13. 
And I think that's all of them in here, unless he's hiding really stealthily. I think they just, uh, oh, there he is. They're just spread out over the course of the, all the maps, which makes sense to revisit your areas. You're reusing the space. We found all the different types of fruit from around the farm. Nicely done. Didn't get that one yet. Cool. There's another chicken. Oh, shoot. Got Betsy. One, two, three, four, five. All right, there's one hidden chicky do. Where is this lap? Maybe she's in here. He's in, she's in here. There we go. That's right. The chickens are super happy you have collected their eggs and found all the lost chicks. Way to go. Cool. So we're still missing, uh, there's still way more to do that we haven't done yet. Let's see here. Let's go and progress to the next part. Found all the chicks. Oh, excellent work. I will get them back to you, Ethel. Thanks so much. That pie your mama is cooking smells mighty good. Smells ready to eat. Let's go eat that pie then. I think we'll take a hint. Your pie is ready. And just to thank you for all the help you run the farm today, I've also made your favorite ice cream. Yum. Um. The main storyline for this game is over, but there are awards left to be earned. Do you want to keep exploring the map or in the game now? Well, I think we've pretty much seen it. I'll save a little bit if you guys want to check out this little adventure. If you have, like, a, a younger sibling, you know, like, who's just learning math, maybe like preschool or kindergarten or whatever, um, or even earlier than that, the earlier the better, you know. Um, you could let them play this game and see how they how they like it. This isn't you know this isn't made for veteran RPG players. This is for specifically to help young kids learn math, and there you gotta kind of respect that. I mean, um, hopefully uh, you guys enjoyed this video, learning about how you can use RPG Maker MV to kind of uh, put it into the learning system, you know, of uh, of kids like learning process. Uh, you can use this game not just to make. Uh, um, like epic RPGs, but you know, you can learn it for, uh, you could use this engine to make learning games. It's really awesome. Well, um, thank you so much for letting me play fun, uh, this game, fun for the brain. Uh, thank you so much for supporting me on Patreon. Uh, we did find a couple bugs you could fix, so cool. I'm glad we could, uh, I could offer you some value out of that and also, uh, advertise your game. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give this video a thumbs up. If you would like more First Impressions videos, support me on Patreon if you want to get your First Impressions uh, impressions video made sooner rather than later. Um, I really appreciate each and every one of you. Even if you can't afford to back me, that's perfectly fine. Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Um, so yeah, subscribe to the channel if you're new here. I have lots of RPG Maker Envy tutorials. We got to do First Impressions videos on games, mostly RPG Maker Envy games. And I'm doing Game Maker Studio tutorials now, so you might want to check out that uh, tutorial list. Thank you guys so much for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.